Hi everyone, welcome back to RTS and welcome back to Record December. Yes, we are on our third week and that means we get to start on our third page of our four page project with a little bit of bonus at the end. <laughs> yes, and so I have my photos ready and I have everything laying to my left to my right and we're just going to get started because this is not going to be a long process because we've already did all the work. So I'll talk about my photos in just a minute, but here are my mats ready to go. Now here was our first and second page of this project. And if you're just joining in, no worries, just go back to the beginning and it does not take this long to do this project. Okay. But we're going to be working on our third page and it is right here. <laughs> yes, we already have this done. So this is going to be the third and fourth page of my record December. That means we're working on week three. How fun is that? Okay. So I'm going to put the other one to the side. And that is what I'm going to do. Now, of course, here are my photos and I will simply be cutting these in half and then I'll put them in piles, which was vertical and which was horizontal. And I can already tell you that they are vertical, 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 <laughs> one horizontal. And then, of course, I have another one here to the side and it's a horizontal. OK, but mostly I have vertical shots, which is just something I know about myself. And when you do this type of project over and over and over again, and this is something basically what I do in my month in review, I just know that when I take a lot of photos for my month, that I know I take more vertical than I do horizontal. But you learn that about yourself as you print more photos, as you snap more photos. And that's just the orientation I like is vertical. Okay, so then I also have my leftovers. Because say if I went to print these out and next week is where I may run into this because next week will actually be Christmas week, the actual week where all the celebrations are happening, where, you know, people are gone, people are coming. You just don't have time to snap as many photos. So that's okay because whatever I don't use left over from this week, I will put in my leftover bin and these were extra. So I will have plenty to finish this project, even if I don't even go print another photo, but I just want to keep, uh, you know, I want it to stay that because there are times that, you know, sometimes you get so busy snapping a photo, you don't appreciate the moment. And Christmas is one of those. Christmas morning, I simply just put the camera to the side. It is what it is. I just enjoy Christmas morning with my family. I just, snapping photos is just not a big part of my day. And so when that happens is sometimes I will go and snap photos after the event because, you know, you do want to enjoy the moment. We don't want a camera in our face all the time or in our hands all the time or in someone else's face. <laughs> yes. Okay. So keep that in the back of your mind. When you have leftovers, keep them to the side because next week, you know, the busy, busy week, we might not have as many and that's okay. We'll be covered. Okay. Because this is just a representation of our whole month. It's not a day per day unless you want to take it that way. Okay. And then I also do have an envelope for a photo in here that will actually land on my page that I can't show. So I'll just put that to the side. Okay. So now what will I be doing in this page? Because, you know, if you look at my page one and two, and I'll just bring them forth, you can see that I used silver and I used deer and I used this Martha Stewart uh, branch here. Okay. So I may exactly try to do that again in my next uh, spread or I may try to change it up and I think this is what I'm thinking I may forego the silver and I may bring out the red and the green I'm thinking I may do that but you know we'll see <laughs> absolutely because if you look in this page here I have my deer again represented and that is why when you use papers for this project that's in a collection or paper pad you'll find some of the same same motifs in your papers and so I have deer again represented on this page you know and again right there are my sprigs so I already have the semblance I already have the carryover of motifs they're just already on my paper. I don't have to add them, okay? So I may play with something different. And I did have something laying here. And what was that? I did have these cut aparts here. So I think I may, this is my options when I'm coming to embellishments because this is the fun part, the play part, because the background is done. My photos, I already knew what I needed to do. That is done, right? And then my photo mats are done. So I get to get to play. So what am I going to play with this time? Well, I could definitely play again more with these cut aparts that I had in page one and two, because look at the options here. So many options, uh, cut those out, fussy cut. There could be a subtitle, just so many different things. Could die cut that out or, you know, hand cut, fussy cut, uh, uh, any of those. Okay. So I could, or I could just say, mm, tired of playing with that, but then see that would work too. So I definitely could do that. 
play with those again. That's probably a little bit of glare with that, okay? Or what I simply could do is that, oh no, that's pretty too. Or I could play with these cut aparts, these little work cut, little cut aparts, or the advent countdown, however you want to do it. So I think I may play with them. I'm not quite sure of that. Uh, and so, you know, with this, they have numbers on, so you could use it as the number as it is, and bling it up a little bit, use it as a little square as an embellishment, or something like this, I could absolutely take a sticker and cover over that. So, I may do a little bit of that, I may sprinkle them in between my photos, haven't decided, but I think I did want to play, you know, it's Christmas, I think I want to play with these this time, I think so. So I think that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to play with red and green on this page, that's my eye. That's what I'm thinking, okay? And of course, I have my die here, and I have, again, this Martha Stewart branch. And of course, I have some stickles here. I may play with them. And then also, I have my embossing folder, but I think with my mats, I'm pretty much done playing with that for <laughs> this round, okay? But I have a few things in here I can play with. But then, also, not only do I have these leftover cut-aparts, okay? And I have this cut-apart sheet, but I also have these borders, that were left over when we were cutting our border stickers. So maybe might play with those. Who knows what we might get into. So that is how fast this is gonna go. I can already just start playing because everything is ready, bagged up, unbagged it, okay? And what I will simply do is that I will uh, cut my photos here and I can tell you that they're more vertical than horizontal. And what do I have this week? Well, I made some cheddar pretzels, I made potato candy, I made a gingerbread house. Fun, fun, our little uh, Elfie, he uh, made the appearance, made some chocolate chip cookies, Amazon packages coming our way. So, yes, just, uh, you know, what we're doing this week. Okay, so uh, come back, and I will have a finished page, and we are just going to play. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm back with my finished page and did not take very long because basically all I did was play with cut aparts. <laughs> yes, absolutely so fun. And so you can see in my photos that I have seven photos and I just put them in basically two strips of photos. That's all I did. And so of course I have my one lonely horizontal <laughs> and the rest all vertical shots. So I absolutely broke out those glitter thickers. This is just something I wanted to play with. And I wanted to talk about that in this video that Whatever you do in the two page previously, you can bring forth and do it again, or you can switch things up because really this is a separate two page spread, but you can add some coordinating embellishments to make it look like it all goes together as a four page spread. And what do I mean by that? Of course, we have our papers that all mixed and matched together. And then I brought in some elements that I had from the previous page, which was some silver and some branches. And that's exactly what I did. So I put in the title, hashtag a very merry 2018. So I have have that covered because if this was the only page you saw you knew it was from 2018 and that's sometimes what I'll do for a two-page spread make sure the dates on there and then I took these dies that I had and again I'm playing with this one set love that and that is one of those things I'll say when you have your supplies organized in the manner you use them it's easier to get to them and then also uh, you get to playing with them quicker and so this is not really considered Christmas. I just had it floral and I put it along with this wreath and so I'm using it as holly and wreath and all that. Just pretty fun floral. And again, I played with my cut aparts. All these lovely cut aparts. Okay, so for my die here, I ran it through this cut apart right here because all I wanted was this silver and ivory and it looks like this. Okay, if I can flip it over, that's what my die looks like. And then, I, of course, I took this little die here and I ran it through a cut apart that had this foil. <laughs> I just put it up there in the corner and got that. And that is how I made this little, I don't want to lose my dies here. That's how I made this embellishment, honestly, just from cut aparts. And then, of course, I added those pearls because in my previous two page spread, I had my pearls up here. Okay. And then some would say, well, then why wouldn't you just put your pearls up there again to make your pages look cohesive? And what I've learned over the years is that if you have back to back layouts with lump and bump in the same pro in the same place, it creates a problem for too much lump and bump. So I made sure not to put pearls in the top because I have that in the previous page. And so I just took some of my frost 
frosted lace stickles and I just put them in the centers of those poinsettias, uh, poinsettias. And when those dry, I'll probably do a second coating just to make it stand out. But then I just added some pearls and again, my Martha Stewart branch. There's that tie-in from the previous two page. And then I came down here, used another cut apart, add some pearls. And again, what I did now is that I took some of those border strips that we had left over from what we played with when we built our pages. And I absolutely used these as word labels. I just cut those out. And my plan was to put a couple in some of my photos. And so I had the word happy and I was going to put that with, uh, where was I going to put happy? I was going to put that there for uh, when we were building our gingerbread house because I that makes me very happy to have that time to spend with my little one. And then I had the word love and I was going to put it on top of this one that said potato candy because I love potato candy. I only eat it once a year, if that. And I was going to put that there. And of course, you know, that gives you a visual triangle. But I decided not to because I ended up using this big word believe and I didn't want to take away from that. So sometimes when you get into embellishing, sometimes less is more. So I took some of those away and just left the one down here that said holidays. And then I get a visual triangle with those words. And then I just added a little one up here that said Noel just to fill in a little bit of an empty space. And I'll have some close ups at the end of the video and, then, and I think that is basically all other than when I was die cutting this I had the dies out and because I know this is the third page but I'm also going to be on a fourth page I made sure to go ahead and cut out an additional embellishment for my page you know my next page because there's no sense getting out to die again since I already had that, because I know I want to replicate that on my two page spread, okay? And so don't forget to do that. If you have something that you're die cutting and working with on the left, do two, that way you'll have it next week because next week we'll be busy. <laughs> and that way we can get to the page quicker. And again, all these things I have cut out, these all came from cut aparts and these border sticks, border stickers, Ever, all of this came from the paper pad, love that. And I will simply keep this in this bag and this is where I have all my extra branches that I punch. I'm going to put all that together and that way next week it will come together even quicker than this week. So love that. So I also wanted to mention that if you want to share your layouts and your kit and also anything you are doing when you are recording December on Instagram, the hashtags will be listed below. And also there are a slew of photo ideas listed below. Definitely take a few minutes and look at that. If you're running short of photo ideas, there is plenty down there. And then I think the the last thing I wanted to say is that I want to wish you and your family a big, beautiful Merry Christmas. Yes, take some time, enjoy that family, enjoy the friends, enjoy the food. Yes, absolutely. And let's all keep in mind what the spirit of the season is all about. Absolutely. So come back to RTS. Merry Christmas. And you never know what we're going to learn. Bye.